Howdy fellow train enthusiasts and model builders. I wanted to share a little bit of the behind the scenes of this project. It's really cool. The, the customer I'm working for is an awesome architect and engineer. He's provided um, his own drawings, which I've had. Actually, I've had these drawings for almost three years now, so um, they're actually kind of brittle, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. But I wanted to just show how um, it goes from a drawing, and that drawing gets translated to my steel bench. And that steel and that drawing on the steel bench actually is what I use to create um, these structures here. And uh, this is a this is a 22 inch tall tower. Um, it's going to be really really cool once it's done. A bunch of details going to go into it. And I have, as you can see, several of them here to build. It starts off like this. You know, I cut cut all these little cool plates. Add these little gusset plates to everything. Um, it's really fun. It's very interesting too to take these these drawings and translate that to scale to my scale which is uh, the O scale in this model and just work through all these measurements um, create all of these cut sheets and, and parts that need to be cut and and welded together it's it's very challenging but at the end of it all it really starts to come together and look, you know, as prototypical as as I can as I can create at this point. You know, every time I build one of these bridges, I learn a little bit more about how to increase detail or put it together more efficiently, uh, and try not to burn the living snot out of myself. Because a lot of this stuff, you can't build with gloves. So you're just working with your bare hands and you're throwing fire and sparks all over the place to put this together but it's cool it takes a lot of measuring a lot of squaring um, a lot of math when it comes to calculating the distance between certain things minus certain measurements plus certain other measurements uh, at the end of it all you hope that you don't weld it all together and make mistakes because you uh, you can't get an eraser out and erase a mistake on this stuff it's just you have to cut it apart or just start over um, and that's the way it is. Please excuse my roughness, but uh, I'm not trying to look good for anybody here. It's just a matter of me and my welder are going to sing together today. We're going to play uh, dueling, dueling welders. With the TIG, which is this guy, and the MIG, which is this guy. So, putting it together. Well, I'll try to add to this video when I get this finished to kind of show this stage that stage and how it all comes together to create a structure and a tower that looks prototypical. So stay tuned. Thanks.